Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing yet again this phenomenon, which is becoming increasingly common here in Thailand, of foreigners behaving badly. That's the only way I can describe it, is just foreigners behaving badly. This was not something we were really prone to seeing back, you know, pre-COVID. I don't know what's going on, but, you know, and there may be an element of this where there's better sort of media coverage and we're sort of seeing it more. I, I don't get that impression, though. You know, th these, these kind of incidents are like something you would have heard about once every like half decade some years back. And now it seems like not a week goes by that we don't hear something like this. But uh, I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Phuket News. That's thephuketnews.com. Article is titled, Arrest Warrant Issued for Brit Over Tuk Tuk Driver Assault, quoting directly, an arrest warrant has been issued for a British man wanted for physically accosting a tuk-tuk driver in Caron in an incident over the tuk-tuk driver allegedly not paying the correct change for the fare. So I urge those who are watching this video, go check out that article in detail. We're quoting excerpts here, and, and there's more detail in there. And, and the Phuket News, as per usual, does a really good job of coverage of this whole thing. But apparently this had something to do with the fare was one price and the foreigner gave the the driver this tuk tuk driver like a thousand baht and the guy said hey i don't i don't have change and look this is something that i know is kind of frustrating to foreigners here in thailand where you know they'll have local funds they'll have bought but you know they'll be carrying around thousands or five hundreds and thousands and you know primarily the local economy here more or less operates on bills that are under 500 baht i mean those kind of bills are kind of difficult to break now I've had my own frustrations associated with this in the past. I even remember doing way back talking and podcasting about, you know, the only two things, for example, motorbike drivers really should have on hand is a gassed up motorcycle and some change. You know, that said, a thousand baht, you know, that's kind of like a hundred dollar bill in the United States, or maybe I should say like what a hundred dollar bill was like some 15 years ago before the inflation got to the point where it is now where, you know, a hundred bucks will buy you like a mcdonald's value meal or whatever it is over there in the states but you know you got to remember you know most locals especially street level folks driving tuk-tuks and things they, they may not have that kind of change that said quoting directly the, and, and then after this issue with the change quote the pair argued leading to i'm just going to redact the name of the person leading to the foreigner placing his hands around the thai person's neck and slapping him in the face before walking off. And then again, I'm going to redact names here. The, the Thai later filed a formal complaint at Caron Police Station. Police Lieutenant Colonel Akisak Kwanwan of the Caron Police received the complaint. Police have since learned that, that the foreigner had now fled to Krabi Province. Caron Police are now coordinating with Krabi Police to track him down and, quote, bring him to trial quickly, unquote. Look, the Thais are not happy about this. I don't know how to put a finer point on that than that. You know, at the end of the day, you're guests in this country, and these are really nice people who are trying their best. Now, again, I understand how frustrations can be, but I mean, to physically assault a guy because he doesn't have change, really? You know, I mean, that is just... You know, I, I'm not going to say that over the years that I've been here that I haven't, you know, had a good time and, and been in situations where, you know, perhaps I was under the influence and I got a little more overwrought than I should have. But I like to think, in fact, I know that, you know, I'm not attacking local people over not having change. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, can we not have a little bit of civility or is everything that's going to be represented by the West going to be you know, these incidents of people flipping out and assaulting Thai people for, you know, innocuous things. So, you know, I, I didn't really mean to get off on a rant with regard to this whole topic, but, you know, we're at, we're at like, what, the third or fourth one of these in like less than six weeks? And each and every one of these incidents is really nuts. You know, and I, I don't know where this is coming from, Again, somebody doesn't have change. Well, you know, it's frustrating. Maybe you have to drive further up to a 7-Eleven or whatever and get change and then move on. It just sort of is what it is, you know. Again, the Thai police are not taking this 
they're, they're, I should say the Thai police are taking this very, very seriously. As, as noted here, this person wandered on to Krabi Beach. I don't know that this person necessarily is presuming that, you know, they're under any kind of suspicion. They may have just sort of done that as naturally part of their itinerary as a tourist here. But, you know, the police are looking for this person. I, I don't know. Perhaps by the time this video goes up, they may have apprehended them. And, you know, I got to imagine it's going to involve criminal proceedings and then the possibility of deportation and blacklisting. And is that really one, is that really the position you want to put yourself here in here in Thailand over a matter of change? And then meanwhile, you know, at the end of the day, all of this stuff just makes all the foreigners look bad. At the end of the day, it really does. So, you know, I, hopefully this will stop.